Good afternoon, brothers and sisters at MSCC. Hello, Sharon. Hello, Eric. Hello, Zawei. I see Wei Shan there. Hello, Uncle Wai and Auntie Alice. Hello. I see so many of you there. Welcome. Welcome to Easter Sunday service with MSCC today. It's such a special day. It's a day when our Lord Jesus Christ was risen from the grave. Indeed, He has risen from the grave. He has conquered death. So let, let us now stand and enjoy this period, this session of worship together. Come, let's bless the Lord. Let's sing. Come on and celebrate. And let us, and also let's bless Him and celebrate His victory because He lives. Come, bless the Lord. Come on and celebrate because he lives. Yeah. 
Bless the Lord, everyone, all the service of the Lord. Come on and celebrate with us the resurrection of our Jesus Christ, of our Lord, of our Savior. We come and celebrate because of His grace given to us, because He lives. He's a real God, He's a risen Savior that we serve today. Bless you, Lord, Father, and thank you, Lord for all that you've given us. In Jesus' name, Father, we give thanks to you and bless your name and praise your name, Father. Amen. Now we go into the time to partake the Lord's Supper together. I hope uh, all of you have got ambulance reading in front of you as we look into the Lord's Supper and we have it together in one body of Christ. The Lord's Supper was commanded by Christ to all Christians to eat bread and to drink from a cup in thankful remembrance of Him and His death. The Lord's Supper is a celebration of the presence of God in our midst, bring us into communion with God and with each other, feeding and nourishing our souls. We also anticipate the day when we eat and drink with Christ in His Father's kingdom. Reading from 1 Corinthians 11, 23-26, the Lord Jesus, on the night He was betrayed, took bread, and we had given thanks, He broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, He took the cup, saying, This cup, it's the new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. For whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Father, as you celebrate this day of your victory, bring us back to the cross and help us to be reminded that this victory was won with the flesh and with the blood of your son, Jesus Christ. Whenever we eat this bread, 
and drink this cup, which shall proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Let's take a breath together. Reading from John 21 to 17. That's when they found Christ no more in the tomb. Early on that, on the first day of the week, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene went to the tomb and saw that the stone had been removed from the entrance. So she came running to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one Jesus loved, and said, They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we don't know where they have put him. So Peter and the other disciples started to look for the tomb. Both were running, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. He bent over and looked in at the strips of linen lying there, but did not go in. Then Simon Peter came along behind him and went straight into the tomb. He saw the strips of linen lying there, as well as the cloth that had been wrapped around Jesus' head. The cloth was still lying in this place, separate from the linen. Finally, the other disciple who had reached the tomb first also went inside. He saw and believed. At this point of time, they still did not understand from scripture that Jesus had to rise from the dead. Then. The disciples went back to where they were staying. Now Mary stood outside the tomb crying. As she wept, she bent over to look into the tomb and saw two angels in white seated where Jesus' body had been, one at the head and the other at the foot. They asked her, Woman, why are you crying? They have taken my Lord away, she said, and I don't know where they have put him. At this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there but she did not realize that it was Jesus. He asked her, Woman, why are you crying? Who is it you're looking for? Thinking he was a gardener, she said, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have put him, I will get him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned around towards him and cried out in Aramaic, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said, Do not hold on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. Go instead to my brothers and tell them, I am ascending to my father and your father, to my God and your God. Today, let us celebrate the victory claimed by our Lord Jesus Christ over death. Let us celebrate his victory over death by shouting hallelujah to the Lamb as we give Jesus highest honour and sing of his love.
the sink of love forever. Over the mountains and the sea, your river runs with love for me, and I will open up my heart and let the healer set me free. I'm happy to be in the truth, and I will daily lift my hands, and I always sing of oh, when you're looking I could sing of your love forever. I could sing of your love forever. I could sing of your love forever.
Lisa for the highest honor on this very special day. We remember our risen Savior. I remember a lot that you have conquered the grave. So no matter what difficulties there are, you have conquered the highest level of difficulty, which is the grave. So Lord, help us to place our hope on you, place our trust in you, and leave it all in your hands as we submit and surrender all onto your feet. Lord, grant us a peace, grant us a grace. In Jesus' name, Father, we ask and pray.